Definitely in urgent need of that uh, steam stack, that exhaust stack, that chimney. I'm going to have to fit one ASAP, that's what I've got that tower scaffold up for. Dave lent me it to do the uh, sign on the fascia for the brew shed, but I've still got it. Somehow I don't think it's going to be tall enough or safe enough for me to go up there and do some work on the, uh, on the roof. Basically, I'm going to put a cowl through some of the plastic. I'm not going to touch the asbestos. I'll go through the plastic and put a chimney in. I can't vent it that side of the building because of residents. So I'm going to have to pull the chimney all the way up and across to the other side. Bit of a bumhole, really. But as you can see, I mean, it's near. It's really, it's really not workable. It's going to be just uh, sort of six days a month, I guess could put up with it but I mean it looks ridiculous everything's gonna be dripping so what my plan is instead is install the chimney I can't do that today or tomorrow though and while I'm waiting for the boil I thought I'd crack on with another job and that other job is to try and stop this filing cabinet that I've got here from rocking and weeble wobbling all over the place I found two splits at the base, I'm going to weld them up solid, I'm hoping that does the trick, probably won't, but if I put a bit of weld in all the corners, we might get lucky. Anyway, while I've got 40 minutes while that's boiling, let's get on with that. Yeah, a bit of welding done there. Uh, also got the brew finished. The cupboard doesn't wobble half as much as it did, so I guess that's a bonus. But it's approaching yeah, four o'clock, and I'm starting to get a real headache come on. As you can hear, the throat's not better. Oh, well, it's a bit of a pain in the arse, actually. I've got a thousand and one jobs to do, as you well know. What do you do? You just have to grin and bear it, but I've got the main thing done today, I've got the brew finished. So I'm going to pitch some yeast to clean the boil kettle. I've already got my grains in there for tomorrow's batch. So we can crack on tomorrow with the bitter. And then Friday, I think, it'll be a little bit more relaxing in terms of what I'm going to do. I'll still be coming to work, but I won't have a brew day ahead of me. Pretty good news. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
I know we've got the pumps are whirring in the background, uh, but I want to point out a couple of things. I normally use the SO5 for the vacant, but for the past two or three months I've been using BRY97 because I had it. Um, it seems to be very, very similar. It's difficult for, unless you're the keenest connoisseur of the vacant gesture, you ain't gonna notice. But once I've used up this bit of old stock that I've got, I'm gonna move back onto the 05. It is my preferred yeast. It's cleaner, more reliable, and uh, I just like it better. I don't know why, I just really like it. And then the other thing I wanna point out is uh, this freaking plate chiller, man. UK exchanges, I could not be more happy with it, really. Check out what temperature is giving me back for the energy I'm recovering. Yeah man, you're reading that right. It's going into the HLT at 70 degrees. Now that is a massive recovery of energy, considering it's coming out of the boiler at 80 because we did take it down to, well it's coming out at 75 look and we're capturing at 70. What an exchanger, it is tip freaking top. And the ratio on it as well is almost one to one. So I'm just about to complete the transfer, there's probably uh, 50 litres or so left in the boil kettle. Yeah. And I've just about recaptured 575 litres of hot liquor. So there's a balance of 75 litres over a 500 litre batch, which is, well, it's not 10%, is it? Is it 10%? It's just over 10%, 12% difference. I think mean, that's pretty damn good. I recommend them to anybody. UK exchanges, really, really good bit of kit. Just a gravity reading to take, and another batch of vacant we did make. Friggin' right, we did. Reading taken, um, the beer is safely in the bag, it's sitting at 21 degrees at the moment. The chiller, as you can hear, will bring it down to, because it's winter, 19, normally 18.5. I know it's only half a degree, but it helps. Um, the gravity, because I used all of the Munton's Propino this time and not Bird's Malt, um, surprised me. I was looking for 10.36.9, I've got 10.40. So, uh, a bit high. Um, the vacant I made yesterday though, was just about on the low end of the spectrum. Um, 
what was it, 10.36, two, I think I got on that one. So what I'll probably do when I go to cask these two is a bit of a blend and it should balance out nice and evenly. Um, it's doable, it's legitimate, um, or, you know, I could just mark it up, pay the duty on it, which would be pence. But you get half a percent either way, you know, as long as you recognise that if you are more than 0.3% high, alarm bells should be a ringing. So, they're a ringing, but that's only because I switch malts. Should be an easy fix. So on tomorrow's batch, for the, uh, for the bitter, I will just rain back a couple of kilos or liquor back after the boil, depending. Um, which is most suitable for me. In fact, I'll have to liquor back because I've got all the grain in the mash tun. And like clockwork, look at this. My two favorite people have arrived. Yes, that's right. Tom and Sam are here. Oh no, oh no. It's Abigail and Mummy. Are we ready to go home? Yay! Me too. Me too. Let's go home. See you tomorrow. Hello, Bobby, yeah? You're a bitch.